How's it going, everybody? This is Shay D of Shay D Horror, back with another random review here. This time, this one is called Rage of the Mummy. Let's get into the synopsis of this one. A group of occultists steal 13 sacred relics from the tomb of Prince Horus Khan in order to create their own supernatural powers. Now the 3,000-year-old mummy prince must hunt down the stolen relics while bringing deadly vengeance upon the grave robbers. There you got the mummy dude right there. Alright. This one uh, does have a pretty cool cover. I do like this cover. That's a, a pretty sick design there. Um... Okay, this is Rage of the Mummy. This is from 2018, I think is what the credits initially said. But I think it got a wider release in 2020. Maybe that is when it got picked up for distribution or whatever. This is released by Wild Eye Releasing. I do have quite a few of their titles in the collection. Some of my favorites being like uh, Scream Park is a really cool slasher. And one of my favorite documentaries, Scary Stories, about the scary stories to tell in the dark. But yeah, here's another one of their releases here. Um, right when this one kicks off in the credits and stuff, you hear the Egyptian music and stuff, which is kind of cool. This one has a Creepshow-esque comic book opening to it. It definitely has that uh, Creepshow aesthetic and vibe with the comic book. It's kind of cool. Um, the mummy itself looks cool. He has these dark eyes and these like uh, exposed teeth and stuff. Right here, uh, the mummy himself actually looks kind of cool. Uh, the first kill was decent. Uh, what has to do with uh, quicksand and a decapitation. Um, not super bloody, but it was interesting how they did it. This does have some cool imagery throughout. Like I said, it's definitely got that comic booky vibe. Very heavily influenced by like how Creepshow, anybody out there that's seen Creepshow how the scenes kind of get paused and turn into that animation and stuff. So that's kind of interesting. Um, this is from my area. This is actually set in Denver, Colorado. Um, a Colorado native. I am from Colorado, so I did recognize some stuff. Um, the location was interesting, you know, and me being from Colorado, it was pretty cool. Once again, too, I had recently just watched The Black Phone, which is a great movie now in theaters. Um, and that was set in Denver, Colorado, which was surprising and pretty cool to me. You know how that is anytime it's kind of set in your location. You're like, ah, oh, I recognize this. Or, okay, you know. Just some other Colorado movies you know that I could think about off the top of my head is like, of course, Black Phone. This new recent great one. This one here, Rage of the Mummy. And, of course, like The Shining, Misery, Things to Do in De Denver When You're Dead, stuff like that, as well as, like, you know, South Park and all that stuff. But uh, I think there was a couple places I recognize, like uh, I-25, the interstate. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's I-25 right there. And it looked like they're walking down the 16th Street Mall. Anybody that's familiar with Denver knows that area, too. I'm like, oh, yeah, that looks familiar. There was some decent comedic moments. Um, the facial expressions of some of the people had me cracking up at different times. Uh, essentially, this is a slash movie with a mummy, um, and he has this big blade, this old school style knife. A lot of the kills are off screen or cut to by that creep show esque aesthetic. So uh, that is a little different, but it was kind of cool at the same time. Sometimes there's not much dialogue when it cuts to a montage scene. Uh, and it has the Egyptian music and some of those cool Egyptian symbols and stuff. All in all, this is a low-budget mummy slasher flick. Definite creep show slash comic book influence. Um, it could have been more gory and bloody, but still has some decent visuals. Um, how did the mummy get to Denver? I don't know. It doesn't really explain that part, but hey, it's like magic, right? It's the curse. It's the rage of the mummy that he finds him and stuff. Um, and I got to say also that the ending scene, uh, the end scene is pretty solid. I liked the end scene. I thought it was pretty cool. This is a low budget movie from uh, a director that I forget the director's name here, but... Uh, he did do a little bit of everything on this movie. It looked like he wrote it, produced it, directed it. He did the music, the art. 
So that's cool in itself, you know. It's just that independent indie spirit. So once again, usually when I give these reviews, guys, I try to give no uh, spoilers and stuff. But you got a straight up little low budget slasher mummy flick right here. So yeah, everybody, check it out. I got some more reviews coming. Some more uh, Blu-ray shelves coming here soon. And I will talk to you guys later. This one was Rage of the Mummy.